We've been looking at the main features of a typical turbine startup and the precautions that must be observed. There are, in fact, many other precautions and observations that must be made during operation as well as during the startup of the unit. One very important area is the prevention of water ingress into the turbine. We have already mentioned the need to prevent carryover of water with the steam from the boiler drum. During startup, a certain amount of condensation of steam will occur as the pipework is warmed from cold. Similarly, when steam first enters the cold turbine, condensation will occur initially. It is essential to remove this water to prevent damage to the turbine blades. For this reason, during startup, great care and attention must be paid to correct operation of drains which are fitted to the main steam line, the turbine stop valve, the steam chest, and the turbine shell. These drains usually discharge into the condenser so that the water can be recovered and recycled back into the system. During startup, all of the turbine and any pipework which is connected to the shell, such as extraction steam piping, is under vacuum. We must be extremely careful that any operation of drains, for example on extraction lines, does not allow air or even worse, water to be sucked into the body of the turbine. A representative example is shown here. In this arrangement, the reheater drains are piped to enter a blowdown tank below the water level. But remember, during startup, the reheater and associated pipework is under vacuum, forming part of the steam path through the turbine. You can see here potential for water from the blowdown tank being drawn backwards into the reheater and from here along into the turbine shell. To avoid this, the reheater drains would normally be connected to the condenser during the startup period. The connection to the blowdown tank would only be used to drain the horizontal reheater before lighting the boiler. Another possible source of ingress of water during on-load conditions could occur as the result of feed water heater to the steam side shell and consequent entrance of water into the extraction steam lines. To prevent this occurrence, positive closing, non-return valves are fitted into the extraction lines. If the water level in the heater rises above a predetermined level, the sensor will operate the trip to positively close the check valve. These positive closing check valves also trip closed in the event that the turbine stop valve is tripped closed. They are force closed about and reverse flow completes the closure. An important feature that must be borne in mind is the effect of temperature upon the turbine internals and associated pipework. 